This is a quick demonstration on Envisioneer. Pro Architect is exactly the same, but just to show you how to insert some walls and a roof so that you can get your work and drawings in quantities. If you come across on your catalogue and select the wall button from up the top on the building tab, you can come and uh, select one of the Australian walls. I prefer just to freehand the walls in to approximate uh, uh, dimensions as I'm clicking around. When I come to the uh, end of it, you basically just click it and right click and go finish. And if you come in close, you'll see that it expands out to the correct wall shape. Now to resize any of the walls, if you touch a wall, you'll notice you'll get dimensions going at right angles to it and also dimensions going parallel to it. So basically if you grab a, a dimension that's going at right angles to it, then that wall that you've touched is going to either go right or left, depending on if you enter a smaller or larger number than what you've already got there as the dimension. So let's say I want that to be 4200. So naturally the wall that I highlighted will have to go to the left. If however you select the dimension that goes parallel with the wall, that will actually lengthen that wall and also push out or down on the walls that are attached to it. So in this case, if I wanted that wall to be say three meters, I then have to choose which end of the wall I want to lengthen. And I do that by choosing these arrows on the right hand side. So let's say I want the uh, top of the wall to go up. So I actually select the arrow pointing to the top of the wall, and then hit OK, and you can see it's, it's um, taken that wall up to the correct size. You just go around the building and change everything to what you want. You can uh, click on Auto Dimensions. It'll uh, go and throw your dimensions on it. You can now go and throw, say, a roof in. So basically, if you select the roof button, it'll actually put a roof on by perimeter. So over here you can see we have Australian content and we've got concrete, tiles, terracotta tiles, colour bond. We're going to put a colour bond one on and then underneath that you've got 450 eaves or 600 eaves and come down and I want a 25 degree pitch roof. So all I have to do is come and pick a point in the middle of the building. So <clears throat> that gives you the walls and the roof. Now for doors and windows you basically come up to the doors you can actually right click here and I'll just go collapse that'll just collapse all the Australian catalogue down so basically what I'm after is an external hinge door an entrance door depending on what I've selected whether it's a 70 mil wall or a 90 mil wall well in my case it was a 70 mil wall and then we give you the, the uh, choice of a 2040 or a 2340 high door so I'm just going to go a 2040 and then basically I can then say well okay I want the 820 and then move it along the wall you'll see that it just wants to attach itself so basically you can just drag your mouse across a wall whether it's vertical or horizontal or you can right click and you'll get the options to give it a distance from a corner or center it on the wall so basically we just want to touch the wall and then just drop it wherever I want to if I right click and finish you'll notice that it's actually marked the door and now if I touch that, I'll get those dynamic dimensions back and I can say, well, okay, this outside dimension here, if I touch that and go 350 for a brick and a half, it'll move that door accordingly so it fits in and uh, sorts out for your brickwork. So doors, exactly the same on internal doors and all that sort of stuff. So basically if I want a, um, a sliding door, it'll be up underneath uh, Brandom's at this stage, sliding doors. Um, I want a fixed uh, slider and a fixed 2100 or 2400 so I want a, a 2118 and again just come and slide it along the wall or as I said you can right click and go center it on the wall and it will actually pop it in and mark, mark it exactly where you want it to be. And exactly the same for your windows so at this stage we've got Brandon's window sizes in there but most of them uh, suit most manufacturers so basically we have them in sliders, double hungs, awning casements, louvers, fixed and bifolds so let's say we want some sliders so we open that up and then you'll find that you have a, a tree with groups of heights of windows 
So I want the 1200 high, 1800 wide, and again, you just come and plop them in wherever you want them. Let's say I want a, an 1812, 1809, say at the front, I can just drop those in. And basically, I might do 1821 over here. Okay, so basically now, if I have a look at that in 3D, you'll see that there's the building, the model as such, and you can turn it around and do whatever you like with it. We haven't got a floor or ceiling, but that can be in another demonstration with a much lengthier time frame on it. But for now, just to basically give you the quick demonstration of how you can do things. Now basically if I want to do uh, work and drawings on that, if I come over to one of my worksheets down the bottom here, all I have to do in the Australian catalogue content is come up to defining a smart view. So if you want to put a view in, you can do so by defining it. But basically with the Australian content, I already have it all predefined to give you elevations and floor plans. So all you have to do is click the update smart view button and go update. And as you can see, they've just popped in on the elevation sheets. So I've got two elevations there. And I'll have a ground floor plan there. So basically to show you how quick things are, at this stage we've got um, an elevation or a building that's got uh, um, a brick veneer. So we've got face bricks and colour bond roof. So basically if I come back to my model, so I'll touch the roof on that side and that side. And what I'll do is I'll go to the properties of the roof and I'll change the shape from a hip to a Dutch gable. And I'll bring the horizontal distance in to the vertical face of say about 1500. And on the Dutch gable, I'll make the eave overhang say 300. And that gives me two Dutch gables as you can see. I'll actually delete that window there and this window here I'll just move it along and right click and go replace and I might just replace that with a, an 1821. So you can see you can quickly modify the model. Now if I come back over to the elevations and hit my update smart view button you'll find that it's all changed as well. Okay, So basically that's a quick demonstration on Envisioneer or Pro Architect. If you have any queries or questions, please contact us. Thank you.